up everyone welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel so today is the second day of the sewing marathon vlog so yesterday i finished this dress no surprise mccall's 8085 um because i had pretty much most of it finished um today i really want to focus on cutting out patterns so i want to introduce to you the rest of the patterns um so you've seen four these are the remaining three um i might be biting off a little bit more than i can chew as far as finishing the pants but these jackets i know they'll go like that i'm gonna really gonna focus on cutting out these patterns today um and then also starting on that garment which i have draped right there which is this McCall's pattern um, with the juvenile print as it was sold in Joanne. Um, so that is actually a Christmas present. That's why I'm gonna try to finish it quickly um, as I am filming this before Christmas um, and then releasing it after Christmas. It doesn't matter that I'm saying it's a Christmas present, but I need to finish that. That's my number one priority. But I also wanted to cut out these patterns. So I want to get a good part of that sewn, finish these patterns, and then kind of work a little bit on the pants. So the first pattern I'm going to cut out today is this McCall's pattern. McCall's 7847. Used this one a million times. I know exactly how to use it. You might recognize it from the, um, what did I call it? Like patchwork jacket that I did with all the blue fabrics, the resale blue fabrics made into this jacket was a long series that I did on my YouTube video, but I use this pattern. So I'm using this super cool waffle cloth print. Well, not really print. It's like a Adobe, um, fabric. It's this kind of mustardy yellow, um, cool geometric square waffle cloth, whatever you want to call it, fabric. The next pattern fabric combo I want to show you is this Simplicity 8699. I've also used this one before. I made a denim skirt out of it. Um, this one is, I'm going to use it to make corduroy. <laughs> so that completely backwards. This pattern I'm going to use on this corduroy fabric I got last year at Joanne. Oh, by the way, this fabric I got at ACR. Um, this fabric I got last year at Joanne for their Black Friday sale. It's this um, big corduroy fabric. Super, super soft and fuzzy, but also super um, drapey. It's a cotton fabric. Um, I know it will sew really easy and I think it will drape really nicely using it to make the skirt. I'm going to make the long version of it because I have enough of this fabric to do that. So I plan on cutting that out today. And then lastly, this is a pattern I haven't used in a pretty long time. It is McCall's 7549, but I have used it before, probably twice at least. Um, I used it once for a fall jacket that I did where I did um, like I think it was a plaid solid plaid because you can use it to cut three different patterns up well two fabrics but three different pieces this time I'm going to use it as a solid piece um, and I'm going to use it with this fabric so Hmm, I don't think that my Garment of the Week video is out yet with where I use this fabric, but I have a Garment of the Week video where I use this fabric. It's called the Rug Skirt. Um, so if you recognize this fabric, that's where it's from. So I'm going to use it to make this jacket. So I know that those two jacket, this pattern and then the, the previous pattern I showed you, this one will go by super fast um, because jackets you can kind of knock out super quick and these also don't have closures. So perfect. Um, and then that jacket won't have any closures either. It will just have this collar. And then the red jacket, it also won't have any closures. Um, but it does have a liner to it. This and the pants. I think that's what's probably going to take me the most. So time to get into cutting these patterns and I'll kind of show you some stuff along the way. 
this might look a little bit chaotic, but let me explain. So we got the collar, we got the front, front lining, and then down here is where it gets a little chaotic. So I'm cutting it off for view B right here. So I went ahead and pinned this up, but they did it to where it's the whole, well, I haven't pinned it on yet. It's just temporary. I'm going to cut those out and then I'm going to pin it first. So they did it to where it's the whole back piece. So you would only cut one. So I'm going to line the center back up on the fold. Um, that way I just have to cut and then I'll get one piece. Uh, it's way easier to cut like that. Then I've got the facing piece is going to go right there. And then I still have the sleeve piece and it's going to go right here, but ran out of room for the fabric. So I'm going to scoot it up, cut the sleeve piece right there. So that is this pattern. Next pattern. So I'll give you a little close up on this fabric, the rug fabric, I like to call it. This pattern, super, super, super simple. So this is the one um, McCall 7549 that I was telling you about that you can cut like the yoke, the center, and the bottom um, in different pieces. But what I did, I just pinned them all together to make one large piece for the front and the back. You can do the same thing for the sleeve. Um, pattern piece 10 and 4. So I also just pinned that. And then also this piece, I need to cut four. So I need to cut it out twice. So I'll just cut it out next to each other. But that's all the pieces for this. I'm not putting a liner in this. Um, well, still thinking about it, but this is what I have going for now, which really makes me want to start sewing on it today. Um, but we'll see. So I got the, all the grain line pieces right. So there's my grain line and I just followed the arrows. Now I'm going to cut this out. If you can't tell, I'm out of breath from moving so much. I had to put my hair up and take my jacket off because whew, it was just down on the ground cutting those patterns out and got a little hot. So a little small update. Not going to cut out the skirt pattern today. Instead, I'm going to focus more on this because I think if there's one pattern I'm not going to finish, it's going to be the skirt one. So I'm going to focus on what I want to right now, what I'm feeling like I want to sew instead of making myself cut out that pattern. And I'm probably going to cut that out maybe day four. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see how far along I go. So right now I'm going to work on this bad boy. No seams are sewn right now. All that is done is it's cut out and draped. So let's get started. Okay, this is coming along quite nicely. This side is put together. This side is in the process, but I wanted to show you the process. So the first thing I did was attach it at the shoulder seam. Um, all of these seams I surged um, just because it is a really, really lightweight jersey knit fabric. So I didn't want to mess with any puckers. So I went ahead and surged it. So that's where I stopped on this side and I continued on this side, putting together the shell on one side. So what you do next is you put in the top of the sleeve, the sleeve cap right here. Then you do one super long, so you don't sew the sleeve together. You just put the sleeve cap in. Then you do one super long seam from here all the way to the sleeve. So I'll show you on this side. So I put the cap in right here and then I did a super long seam right there. So that side done, moving on to that side. Okay, here we go on this. So I've sewn together the all the facing pieces. That's what this is. There's a back facing piece right here and then another facing piece on this side. Sew those all together. Now I'm pinning it on this to sew that together. Um, then I also surged it just so that way it would be nice and clean on the inside because that will fold over and go on the inside. So then, oh my gosh, I don't know if you just heard my dog running by. So then this will almost be done. I'll just have to hem it here 
and then him here. And then this garment will be done. So what I'm kind of thinking about doing is sewing this and then maybe moving forward to another garment. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Here's what this looks like with the facing turned inside. So it looks really nice and clean. Still need to do the hems, but I'll take care of that tomorrow. I've been working on this little jacket here, McCall's M579. Um, so to the front pieces, and this is the last update for today. To the front pieces, I've done some serging. Sewed the sleeves together and serged the bottom hem. And then the back piece, I sewed it together down the middle. So for today, what did I cut out? Two, two patterns. And I have kind of like two and a half garments done. So still got a long ways to go, but also we are getting there. So that's pretty much it for today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow.